Good morning, queens. It is February 24th, so happy Saturday. Um, I'm feeling like poop. Um, I went out for dinner with my coworkers yesterday and I just like, I ate too much junk and I just, and my throat's starting to hurt. I've been doing so well eating healthy and exercising and such and I didn't get to work out yesterday. I ate horrible and I'm paying for it now. Today is just going to be a self-love day to make myself feel better because I just honestly, I just want to sleep all day and I just like, ugh, horrible. I look horrible, but I mean, it is what it is. I'm just gonna take you along with me during my self-love day, I'm gonna do a couple things just for me to feel better because I don't wanna feel like this anymore. And it's important to do things for yourself and not everybody else, so that's what I'm doing today. Saturday is a self-love day. So I'm gonna bring you along with me on my self-love day, so let's go. So, I don't really know what's going on, like, I just, I'm in this, such a slump, like, I just, I thought maybe it was because I just ate bad yesterday, my body was just reacting to the food that I ate that I don't normally eat, and I just, like, I felt like poop, and I just, I had my smoothie this morning and two cups of coffee, and I'm just kind of, like, uh, I laid down, tried to have a nap. My head's hurting. I don't know if it's hormonal, like, I don't, if this is too much information, I'm sorry, but I feel like just so sad today and just blah. And like, I know that I want to have like a self love day and like do things for myself to make myself feel better, but I just like, I just don't feel like leaving my bed today. I miss, like, I know I miss my friends. Like, I don't see my friends anymore. Like, I feel like, I'm not complaining whatsoever. Like, I'm loving the journey that I'm on right now, but I don't know if I'm taking on too much with YouTube. Like, I'm trying to post twice a week. On weekends, I film, and then I'm editing on Monday, and I'm trying to post by Tuesday, and then Wednesday, I'm editing for Thursday, and then I'm posting by Thursday, and I get a break Friday, and kind of, I'm taking Saturdays, I guess, as a break now, too, but I just, I don't know if I'm taking on too much and I'm just, I'm exhausted. I don't sleep as much. I still work a nine to five every weekday. I love my job, but it's also a very stressful job as well. I just want to sleep all day and lay in bed. I don't want to do that because I don't, I won't feel productive. I won't feel like I got anything done. I'll regret it tomorrow. And I just, I don't want to feel lazy. I'm really trying to get out of it. So I just, I put on my workout gear. I'm gonna go for hopefully like an hour run. I'll see you when I see you. Workout done, time to shower. And now I'm in my car. <laughs> I know the last thing I said was I was gonna take a shower. I did, but I'm running really late. So now I'm in my car. I'm going all natural today. My hair is curly. I just threw it up, put in a little bun, no makeup. Um, nothing that a good pair of sunglasses can't fix. And yep, I look bald, but that's okay. I'm gonna go get another smoothie. Cause we're just doing a smoothie cleanse today and go get my nails done. So I will see you when I see you. I tried my best to vlog inside, but obviously it didn't happen. Why are there always sirens every time I'm trying to vlog? Okay, great. I tried my best to vlog inside the nail salon, but that didn't happen. My nails were too wet. They kept telling me to stop moving, so it was like, you know what? It is what it is. I got one tiny little clip, and that's that. But this is what my nails look like. You can see. I needed a little sparkle in my life, so I did a little finger with the sparkle on it. So, 
Just with that little self-care, I already feel fabulous just with getting my nails done. It's the little things. Well, it's not little when it costs you an arm and a leg, but um, I still enjoy it, still love it. So now it's off to another appointment for self-care, self-love, and yeah. Am I the only person that like when you're kind of sad or sad and you just listen to like sad or like love songs and it makes you feel worse but kind of makes you feel better? Yeah, that's me. to a Demi Lovato concert on the 19th of March and I am beyond stoked. Like I haven't been to a concert in forever, but I'm excited. I'm going with one of my best friends and it's going to be lit. Hi there, welcome to Starbucks. What can I get for you? Hi, can I get a grande regular coffee made with almond milk and two Splendas? Do I need Starbucks? No. Do I want Starbucks? Yup. I miss Starbucks. I've been getting Tim Hortons for the past few days because it's roll up the rim. And for all you non-Canadians, roll up the rim is when you get coffees and you can roll up the side of your cup and you can like win more coffees or a donut or a croissant or a blah, blah, blah. But most of the time it says, please play again and you just waste your money, but Canadian things. And now I finally have Starbucks. And this has just made me a little happier. <laughs> Appointment, about to get waxed, needs to happen. I hate doing it, but like I said, it needs to happen. <sighs> let's do this. I hate doing this, but let's do it. Honestly, the worst thing in the entire world. But I'm done. If you ever want to experience the worst pain in your life, just kidding. I bet you childbirth is worse, but like, oh, I mean, it's done. Whatever, feel great. On to the next thing. I'm back. So, I honestly feel better, although I don't look my best, I feel my best, and that's all that really matters right now. I honestly believe that the way your room is portrays your life. By that, I mean if your room's a mess, your life's a mess. You need clean to feel clean. A clean room makes you feel a hundred times better every time you're in it. And I walk into my room and this is what I'm dealing with. Yeah. Keep in mind, I've had a very stressful week editing and working and I honestly, I don't know what happened. The stress of the week just kind of took over and Hurricane Shanice went through my room. And honestly, my room is usually spotless. This hasn't been this way in a long time because I truly believe that if your room's clean, your mind's clean, your life's better. Like it just, you feel so much better when you have a clean room and that's just one part of a house right I sleep here I edit here I film here like I'm in this room constantly so I need this room to be clean and it's not and I think that's part of my problem because I wake up and go to bed and see this mess and I just I can't do it anymore so to add to my beauty day my self-love day I need to clean this mess and I need to clean it now
<laughs> I'm exhausted, but I feel so much better seeing a clean ground. I look, wow, crazy. Yep, let me just fix myself. But I, like, you saw it before. Anyways, I mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, feel so much better. I'm gonna get some water because I haven't, I've had like two sips of water today. I need to get some more water in me because I'm clearing up all this skin on my face, which is actually looking a lot better. I need to go to Sephora and get some new skincare stuff just to try some stuff out, maybe prevent all this from happening. I'm feeling great, a lot better. I just, I really needed this day just to do stuff for myself. Yeah, I will see you when I see you. Hey guys, um, it's currently 8.15 on the same day as the rest of this vlog. Just coming to kind of end the vlog. I know it's just one day, but it was just kind of like something I wanted to do. I know I was complaining in the very beginning about how I was feeling and how it could be related to my work stress and how it could be relating to the workload that I took on for YouTube. And now what I'm gonna say kind of contradicts that, but I mean, whatever, but I felt like it was important for me to vlog today. I think I, when I watch some YouTube videos, I like seeing other people go through things that aren't um, shared often. When I watch them, it's great that other people go through things and it's great that not everything's always sunshine and rainbow. So it's kind of like the first personal thing I wanted to put on the internet onto YouTube. So I mean, I, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I hope that other people learn that not everyone's perfect, not everyone is happy all the time. If you're going through anything, if you're depressed, like it's okay to talk about it. I think it's important for me to put it out there. I still had a great day. I feel a lot better than I did this morning. I just wanna leave this to be a one day vlog, kind of like a self love vlog. How I at least boost my self esteem or boost my um, endorphins. I don't, what's the, chemical that you that it's in your body that makes you sad and happy and I don't uh, science I'm about to go work out for the second time today because I just when I exercise or work out I feel a lot better afterwards I found a way that I enjoy working out and it's working for me I've seen progress yeah so I'm gonna go work out for the second time today mainly because I had my leftover pizza from my last night's dinner for dinner today. I told myself I was gonna have smoothies for all my meals, but that's okay. So I will see you Tuesday with a whole new video, and then I'll see you Thursday when I post this vlog. Anyways, love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click that like button and subscribe. Click that little post notification so you don't miss a post from me, and I will see you next time. I already said that. Bye, queens. Yes, queens. Yeah.